culminated in a series of raids last week in Indianapolis, and now we know that 20 people are facing numerous federal charges for their involvement in drug trafficking and dogfighting rings. Federal, state, and local authorities hit more than 20 sites just last Thursday. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Debbie Knox. And I'm Bob Donaldson. CBS 4's Max Lewis has been going through the documents in this case. He joins us now in the studio. Max, this all began with a probe into that drug operation. That's right, Bob and Debbie. According to the 155-page indictment, authorities heard from an informant that a man named Gregory Henderson Jr. was bringing in drugs from Mexico. They tapped his phones, and the conversations they overheard made authorities realize he was involved in an ongoing investigation into dogfighting. The dogfighting probe began when a man was pulled over in Mississippi and officials found 11 pit bulls crammed into the back of his van. They said at least two had serious injuries consistent with being used in dogfights. Authorities put a GPS tracker on that van and say that man was transporting pit bulls for fighting all across the eastern United States and was headquartered here in Indianapolis. Over several months, authorities surveilled several people they accused of being involved in the dogfighting enterprise. They also found quite a bit of evidence they say those people posted online, such as videos of fights and owners posing with their bloodied dogs. People don't believe that that happens in Indianapolis. They, they just, like I get laughed at sometimes. I'm like, oh, that looks like a bait dog or that looks like a dog fighting. Oh, no, not here. Lori Collins runs a pit bull rescue and says she was horrified to hear of this operation, but not surprised. Last Thursday, more than 20 SWAT teams descended on homes used in the drug and dog fighting operation. At this house on Webster Avenue, treadmills and guns were confiscated. Collins said those, along with weighted vests, are used for conditioning dogs for battle. They use the treadmills to increase their cardio endurance, their, their strength training. The weighted vests are to build up their, their chest muscles and their legs so they can jump and have more strength. As for the drug investigation, agents claim the home raided on Hawthorne Lane and Ralston were used as stash houses by the man who started the whole probe, Gregory Henderson. Jr. He is still on the run tonight, but now facing federal charges along with 19 others. Collins hopes all of them are held accountable for the pain authorities say they inflicted on so many dogs. They know pain and they know sadness. Um, they just want to please their humans. So to know that somebody could intentionally do that, like how horrible is that? And tomorrow, the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of Indiana will be holding a press conference to lay out this entire case. As we said, Gregory Henderson Jr. still on the run tonight. Anybody who sees him should not approach him. Call 911 or the FBI Indianapolis Bureau. In the studio tonight, Max Lewis, CBS 4 News. It's a story.